What's going on YouTube? R to the double E dash to the Z-O-N coming at you once again. Uh, and I'm doing a couple of videos today. First one is obviously this one. It's a comparison between two uh, very popular games that uh, I said I would make a comparison video uh, between them once I had ample playtime with, uh, with both of them. Now, of course, we're talking about Friday the 13th versus Dead by Daylight. And in this video, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through the characteristics of both games, the features, gameplay, similarities, differences, pros and cons to each one as far as I'm concerned, and then um, make a determination on which one I believe is best or, you know, as far as, you know, for me, because this is all subjective. Um, so first and foremost, we'll start out with the similarities. Uh, they're both um, one versus four or one versus seven, depending on which one. Both online competitive games. One player plays as the serial killer. The other players play as the survivors trying to work together to outlast, survive, outsmart, uh, and escape from the killer. Uh, Dead by Daylight, you have four survivors versus one killer. Friday the 13th is a little bit more ambitious in that respect. It's seven uh, survivors versus one killer. Um, similarities, like I said, yeah, it's a, you know, and then the, the killers, both whether it's Dead by Daylight or Friday the 13th, have a certain... Like Liam Neeson would say, a particular set of skills, you know, perks and things like that that you can build up and, and level up uh, to better be able to combat the collective teamwork of the survivors that are playing against you. Um, that is pretty much where the similarities stop because the games are quite different, more different than I thought they would be initially going in. Uh, keep in mind, I own Dead by Daylight on the PlayStation 4, have had it for the better part of the last year to two years, and I've played a lot. I'm talking about hundreds of hours in that game I, I love dead by daylight friday the 13th i got more recently this past october 2019 so it's been about almost three months yeah yeah about three months uh and i played a lot of that on my switch i have friday the 13th for the switch dead by daylight for the ps4 now like i said i've had extensive play time with both uh they're a lot more different than i thought they would be um uh, first difference right off the bat um, which is one of the one of the the factors that I prefer Friday the Thirteenth over Dead by Daylight in, and what that is is when you play as the killer. When you play as the killer in Dead by Daylight, you are restricted to a first person view. If you were one of the survivors, it's a third person view. Now that's cool in the sense that yeah, you're you're like let's say you're playing as Freddy, you're in his headspace, you're right there in his point of view. You see the blades of the glove and all that as you're creeping, you know, first person view. You're you're more in there. It's more immersive. However, in this type of game, a competitive game, where you have a team of people working against you, and they have the added benefit of playing in a third-person perspective so that they can manipulate the camera and get a full sweeping 360-degree field of view so they can see when you're sneaking up on them or they can see where you are, they can see stuff in the distance behind them and all that. As a killer, you, can't, you don't have those benefits. So it handicaps the killer in that respect. And Friday the 13th, as a killer, you're in third-person view. So the same 360 field of view that the survivors have, you have as Jason. That's That makes it more, I don't want to say more competitive. Uh, it, may, it makes it more favorable for the killer, or for the player playing as the killer. You know, some people may argue, well, how much more favor do you need as the killer? You got, you know, you can't die. You have these unstoppable powers. You know, the survivors are weak compared to you. Yeah, I get it, but it does handicap your play, your, your, your strategy, your strategizing, because if I can't see all around me unless I turn the entire camera around I'm at a disadvantage where somebody could be running and they don't have to turn their whole player around they could just swerve the camera around keep running towards the screen and they can see behind them who's chasing them so you got more of an advantage that way um, one thing I favor Dead by Daylight in is the cast you know the, the, the roster it, it's unbeatable man I mean Friday the, I don't want to hold this against Friday the 13th because Friday the 13th is a Jason game. I mean, it's it's Friday the 13th. He is the titular killer in that franchise. So it, it, it's only common sense that you would only play as Jason. Maybe, you know, maybe they should let you play as Pamela Voorhees also. That'd be cool. But, you know, really it's just Jason, all right? So I get it. But that's, that's still, that, that being said, it doesn't take away from the fact that Dead by Daylight has a more diverse, more interesting roster. Jason, uh, Friday the 13th does allow you to have different iterations of Jason from different installments. Friday the 13th, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Bunch of different badass looking Jasons. But it's still Jason, you know. Uh, whereas Dead by Daylight allows you to have, I think it's 4 to 8, I think it might be 8 created strictly imaginary killers that were made just for this game. But then you have some iconic badasses, man, like the, the King, Freddy Krueger. Ghostface from Scream, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Michael Myers from Halloween, The Pig Lady from Saw, uh, 
the the the, the, the clown. I forgot for, for curtain call. I forgot what it's called. Whatever. Legion is in there. The, the Demi Gorgon from Stranger Things is in there. So you have this diverse cast of fucking badass horror movie icons. In the case of Stranger Things, horror series or whatever, you know, whatever. But you have all this diversity, and they each have different powers. So it does it does uh, diversify the gameplay. Uh, but then again, going back to Friday the Thirteenth. Uh, a plus for Friday the 13th over Dead by Daylight is that even though Dead by Daylight has the more diverse cast and they do have their individual perks and powers those killers they really only have like one special power each like Freddy one or two you know like Freddy can put you in the dream world put you to sleep and get in your dreams uh, he can also set like dream snares for you uh, one cool thing that they did when they reworked him is they gave him the ability to teleport which is awesome uh, which is what Freddy would do uh, but really, like Ghostface, Ghostface has like the stealth option, like the creeping option or whatever. Michael Myers has the stalk option, like where he stalks the kid, the victim, and the longer he stalks him, the more powerful he gets. That's about it. Jason has like, bro, Jason has like all, all these different like, uh, per, like Jason can throw knives, Jason can swing with his machete, Jason can do grab kills, and there's like 20 different grab kills that are all awesome. So it's like. Yeah, like in, in Dead by Daylight, you have the Memento Moris, the, the 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 fucking badass animation, like instant kills that take the player out of the game. It's not sacrificing them on a hook; it's literally just killing them. Uh, like Freddy's like stabbed through the chest with a glove, or Ghostface is like stabbing the, the player on the back over and over again, and then picking their head up and taking a selfie. That's pretty badass. But Friday the Thirteenth has like a, a shitload of those type of grab kills, all for Jason. And they, they, you can unlock them as you get experience points, and then you can literally say, okay. He can get four different grab kills, each Jason. You can configure which ones they are, however you want. So there's an advantage there. Um, in, in Friday the 13th, you're strictly just trying to kill the survivors. You know, trying to find them and kill them, and that's it. Uh, in Dead by Daylight, you're trying to find them and put them on these meat hooks. You know, you, you, you hit them twice, and that drops them until the point where they're injured, and then you can pick them up and take them, and you impale them on these meat hooks, and like, you're trying to sacrifice them to this thing called the Entity. And then, you know, their, their teammates can come and get them off the hook and whatever. But as that happens to them, they lose energy. And when you, if you put them on the hook, when they're at the end of their health bar, that's it. It's over. They die and that's it. And the entity takes them and they're out of the game. So in Dead by Daylight, the survivor has more, uh, there's more replayability, I should say, for the survivor. Because just because Freddy gets you once or Ghostface gets you once and hooks you doesn't mean the match is over for you. You can get rescued and then you keep going. So there's that. Um... The survivors in Dead by Daylight have their own perks, healing, uh, you know, like med packs and things like that. Um, there's one of two exits in each level in Dead by Daylight, and then there's a secret hatch somewhere in the level that they can escape through. Uh, and and the, 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 the object of Dead by Daylight as a survivor is literally to light, I think it's four to five different generators to light up the level. And once that happens, the exits open, and then you can make a dash for the exits and try to get the exits open. And the killer's job, obviously, is to stop you from doing that, sacrifice you to the entity, and win. In Friday the 13th, there's a lot more diversity in gameplay uh, as far as the survivor. Uh, you can straight up just hide, try to run away. You can find the keys, gas, and battery for a car, work together as a team to find those items and put them in the car and fix the car. So you can all get in the car and try to drive away and escape. You can, I believe, there's gas and uh, for a boat to get a boat and get out to the middle of the lake to escape, or you can find the radio and call the cops. And when the cops show up, you can run to the cops and escape. Uh, the first player that dies, I believe, is the first player that dies, a survivor that dies, gets the option to come back as Tommy Jarvis, who's like Jason's rival, and then you can try and kill Jason. You gotta like knock his mask off and then you know kill him. Uh, so there's a lot more diversity in Friday the Thirteenth. I'm surprised to say I didn't think there would be, but there is. So, you know, at the end of the day, man, when I look at it, man, I, I, I feel like they're both so similar but so different. And I feel like the perfect, like, Dead by Daylight to me was always the perfect horror game. Because, goddamn, you have Freddy, Ghostface, stuff. But I always did say, damn, I wish you could do more as Freddy or more as Ghostface. And then here comes Friday the 13th, which Jason, who I'm not that big of a fan of, but I respect the lore and I respect the, his badass status in the horror community. I've always said it, Freddy's better. Freddy kicked his ass. But either way, he's one of the, he's one of the titans. You know, so I respect it. And even though I don't really care for Jason that much, but he's got so many other badass ways to kill you in this game. And there's more diverse gameplay if you're a survivor. So it's like, I guess, uh, man, I, I would say gameplay-wise, which is the most important thing at the end of the day, uh, I would give the edge to Friday the 13th just slightly. Um, 
but I would say overall, as a, as a more enjoyable game for me, is Dead by Daylight because of the variety um, and um, the different maps. Like all the maps in in, um, in Friday the Thirteenth, they're so similar. You know, they're all just different parts of Crystal Lake. You know, of Camp Crystal Lake. So they're all you know lakes and cabins and forest, and it's all pretty much the same. Um, Dead by Daylight. There's more variety in the maps. You have Bad Ham Elementary School, which is the from the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. You have Haddonfield from fucking Halloween with the Halloween music playing. You have you know the cornfields. You have the fucking slaughter factor. I think it is from 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 Leatherface. You have all these like different maps, and they're all different. There's there's an asylum. There's all these different. It all looks different. So there's more variety there. Uh, but gameplay wise, again, uh, Friday the Thirteenth as a survivor, you know, in Dead by Daylight, you can hide inside the closets and whatever, and it's so badass as a killer when you find somebody and pull them out of there. I love it. But uh, in Friday the Thirteenth, you can hide in the closet, you can hide under the bed, you can, you know, like, you can hide in different spots. There's different areas for you to hide in, which is all super cool. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, you know, well, like, okay, so like in Dead by Daylight, you, like you have a little hint of Michael Myers' Halloween music when you go to Haddonfield. <laughs> that and but it's very light and it's very quick and it's over uh and then you know when he's stalking you hear the dun, 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 from halloween which is pretty cool but you know when it comes to freddy who's my favorite you have no fucking memorable music from nightmare on elm street you don't have the dun, 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 or the you know the, the scraping his you know except for when he finds somebody in the closet he pulls him out and you see he scrapes his claws on the wood which is pretty cool but you know there's not enough like authenticity you know there's a little bit but not as much as you would like uh, for the for the iconic killers like Ghostface or all that, you know, Ghostface should be able to fucking pick up the phone and like say something, you know, uh, and that doesn't happen. But in Friday the Thirteenth, there's a lot more authenticity to the Friday the Thirteenth franchise with the music, the vibe, the feel, everything. So, I will give the edge to Friday the Thirteenth as far as gameplay goes, but as far as the overall game, the overall presentation, the overall experience, I will give it to Dead by Daylight as a horror fan, me myself, because of the cast. Because I can pick Halloween, or, you know, Michael Myers, I can pick Freddy, I can pick Ghostface. And the survivors are all different. And there's there's a lot more variety in the survivors. I think there's like five or, uh, I think, no, I think it's seven because you play a seven different, uh, the team of seven survivors. But I think in Friday the 13th, the seven survivors, it's just seven different skins and that's it. You know, there's a guy, a girl, a nerd, a jock, whatever. In, in Dead by Daylight, you have Quentin from the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. As a survivor, you have Laurie Strode from the Halloween series as a survivor. You know, I forgot who the hell the survivor for Ghostface is. It's not Sydney. It should have been Sydney, but whatever. You know, you have a, a more diverse cast of, of survivors and all that. So, both awesome games, man. Both awesome games. I can't, I can't tell you one is definitively, definitively better than the other. I would cast my vote behind Dead by Daylight because of just a variety as far as characters to play as and and maps. But the gameplay in Friday the 13th is more diversified. I have to say that. There is more to do in Friday the 13th, especially as a survivor, uh, than there is in, uh, in Dead by Daylight. Both great games. And if you're a... a, a well, no, like, you know, a lot of, I, know, I know some people that watch my channel because I, I started off as strictly a Nintendo channel. Now I'm more diversified on everything, but I am still at heart Nintendo first. Uh, there's a lot of people that, that watch my channel that are, that are strictly Switch owners, strictly Nintendo owners. If that's the case, I'm telling you right now, pick up both of these games. If you're a horror movie fanatic, if you, if you like horror movies and the horror movie characters, pick up both these games. They're both on the Switch. Uh, Dead by Daylight, I saw a review of uh, a couple of weeks back from, uh, I think it was Switch Up, uh, was the name of the channel. Uh, I think I mentioned it before. Cool dude has nothing but Switch reviews on his channel. And Dead by Daylight looked good. It looked decent. It didn't look anywhere near as good as the PS4, but you know, it is what it is. But it, it, it looked like it ran good and it was it was it was, you know, a good enough port. Problem is, I don't know if they ever fixed this, but it was missing content. Like Nightmare on Elm Street's chapter is not there, so there's no Freddy in the Switch version. Unless they fixed that. I would like to think that the developers fixed that, but I can't confirm that for you. But still, all in all, it still is a great horror survival game. You know, one versus four, competitive online. Uh, oh, other thing I have to mention: Friday the Thirteenth gets a big plus in this. In this, uh, when I say what I'm about to say, and you know what, I, I, I'm going to change my verdict. I think that Friday the Thirteenth is the is the better pick for this reason alone. I still think Dead by Daylight is the better overall package. Because of the diversity, like I said before, in characters, killers, and maps, and all that. 
But Friday the 13th not only has more diversified gameplay, but it has an offline mode. Dead by Daylight, you will not be able to play it offline. It is strictly online. That pisses me off to this day. Because that game, once the community goes cold, I'm not going to be able to enjoy it. Unless they patch in a single player mode, which you never see a developer do that. So that 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 pisses me off like you know and 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 on and the switch online you know switch switch online uh, nintendo switch online sucks so i mean i can go on doom right now and there's nobody i can't find a match you know yesterday i tried to play a match of mortal kombat 11 my first match i played lagged you know not horribly but it did lag and then the second uh match lagged also so it's like you, you already have a horrible online service and this is a strictly online game uh there's no single player mode and in friday the 13th there is a single player mode now, now here's the thing in Dead by Daylight, when you go to set up a match, you can be the killer every time if you want. You can pick to be the killer, you can pick to be the survivor, and it will work out that way. Friday the 13th, if you're playing online, it's random on who's Jason. You can say that you prefer to be Jason, you could put that option, and it gives you a better chance of being him, but it's still random, whether you're a survivor or you're Jason. Dead by Daylight, it's strictly, you know, you pick who you want to be and that's it. But in the offline mode on Friday the 13th, you are always Jason. So that's awesome. You get to learn how to hunt these people and kill them and how Jason works and all that. So because of the fact that there's an online mode in Friday the... Offline mode, I'm sorry. In Friday the 13th, I will give it the nod over Dead by Daylight. Even though I personally like Dead by Daylight better. If that makes any sense. Uh, but yeah, man. The games are both awesome. Like I said, if you're a Switch owner, that's all you have. I, I would still pick up both these games. Um, like I said, Dead by Daylight. Hopefully there's a community for it because Switch Online sucks, but... As far as if you're an Xbox, PS4, or PC owner, I'd pick up both of these games. As long as you like horror, horror, horror icons, horror movies, and stuff like that, this is this is a perfect games. I mean, Dead by Daylight is fucking phenomenal uh, uh, because you have such a representation there of horror, all the fucking classic villains, and the one that you don't have there, you have in Friday the Thirteenth. So you get them both, and you get the best of both worlds. I mean, I enjoy them both, man. I play I play Friday the Thirteenth. I haven't played it in a, in a minute, probably in about about two three weeks. I think I played it about a little bit less than a month ago. But it's fucking fun, bro. It's, it's a fun, fun time, man. Survivor or Jason. I like to play offline most of the time and just play as Jason. But when I go online and I'm a survivor, it's it's heart pounding. Just like Dead by Daylight. The, I used to play as nothing but Freddy or Ghostface, the killer only. And then I started playing as a survivor and I was like, holy shit, this is scary, dude, because you never know where they're going to come from. So, I mean, it's awesome. It's a great, great, great time, man. Both games. So, I mean, that's my verdict. Like I said, uh, Friday the 13th gets the nod strictly because it has an offline mode. Uh, and it's got more diversified gameplay and uh, as the killer you can kill your, your prey in so many more diverse ways Dead by Daylight has the better cast, the better selection of maps, um, the better selection of, of characters, killers or survivors and the gameplay is also fun because it's not just oh kill them and they're done, no you gotta hook them but then they can get off and then you gotta babysit that or decide to go elsewhere, try to stop them from turning on the generators, they both have really good gameplay, it's just that I feel like Friday the 13th as far as a survivor goes, you're doing more than just turning on generators. You can try to get the car going, you can try to get the boat going, you can try to call the cops, you know. Anyways, uh, that's my video on this subject. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Coming up with another video right after this, man. Uh, like I said, man, uh, both games are great. I enjoy them both. God bless y'all. Stay gaming. Peace.